Hello viewers, uh, welcome to BMC HD videos. Uh, today we're going to have a look at uh, a very different sort of a product that's going to be unboxed. Um, these are uh, camera equipments, mostly lenses, adapters and uh, monopod, ball head, etc. Uh, I hope you like the video. Uh, we're going to be unboxing it very soon. So uh, the first one is going to be um, uh, the Nikkor 200-500mm uh, uh, lens. Uh, this is mostly for uh, wildlife photography. Uh, with a teleconverter, it can also be a good birding lens as well, uh, especially when it's mounted on a crop sensor body like your D7500 or a, a D500. Uh, this equipment was uh, brought uh, bought by uh, uh, by me from uh, a place called Video Links. Uh, they are based out of Kanur and uh, they specialize in. Uh, in uh, basic camera equipment and videography equipment as well. Uh, so do visit their uh, website uh, videolinks.com uh, for you know good discounts and uh, to get more details about the products. So there you have it, a beauty of a lens, AFS Nikkor 200-500. The biggest advantage of this lens is that it's a constant 5.6 uh, throughout the focal length. So even if you are at a 500mm, you still get a speed of 5.6. Obviously, it will result in better low light photography. Well, as you can see, it's a slightly large in size uh, the one liter bottle is kept right next to it uh, for size comparison it's fairly large and bulky but weighs about uh, three kilos uh, but well if you uh, are a regular gym going person you still can hand hold it uh, uh, for for extended periods of time people like me there's a monopod So this is uh, the the lens hood, which is huge, huge in size. And uh, unfortunately, the only weak link uh, in this otherwise really well-made lens. Um, not sure if you can hear this, but uh, it's very plasticky. And from what I've read, uh, it is prone to you know being broken as well. So. You need to be quite careful with this. This is at least about uh, 4 inches um, and about 95 to 100 mm in size. So, and uh, in the box, uh, you obviously have the user's manual. And um, quite surprised, uh, pleasantly surprised, uh, that it's got a worldwide uh, service warranty as well, given by uh, Nikon India Private Limited. Uh, so that's a nice gesture. I was assuming that it will be like a camera where uh, it will only be India warranty. And there she is in all her glory. The Nikon 200-500 mm lens. I almost dropped the lens cap. So... 5.6 throughout the entire zoom range comes with uh, quite a lot of features uh, You've got a few buttons right on uh, the collar uh, manual manual auto uh, It's got an interesting feature where you can lock uh, For a faster focus you can lock uh, between 6 mm to full zoom uh, or 6 mm to infinity uh, I've generally seen that it focuses a lot more faster in this mode but obviously you lose uh, 6 meters um, in the near range. There is VR, a couple of modes in VR, normal and sport. Uh, sport generally is used for panning. Uh, it doesn't stabilize your vertical movement, but only the horizontal movement. 
Another nice feature is uh, that you can lock it at 200, especially when you're transporting the lens so that um, you know the barrel doesn't move as such. Very well made lens. Uh, a very hefty tripod uh, collar. Uh, I don't know, I may want to change this into an Arkansas plate so that it is uh, you know compatible with uh, many of the other you know tripods and monopods uh, and uh, the last thing in the in the box is this uh, lens pouch uh, which I'll probably discard in the next five minutes sorry you don't have much of patience Right, so coming on to the next pack, we've got a few interesting things here. Uh, one is the carbon fiber monopod from Sirui. Uh, and I have a ball head again from Sirui. I bought a, a bag from Lopro. Uh, it is the 350 AW. AW stands for obviously all weather. And, uh, and and I also have a, a filter and uh, a filter adapter uh, because right now I have a lens that takes uh, 72 mm uh, but in the future what I want to pick up is a 77 mm lens thread um, so I bought an adapter so that I can use it on both the lenses this is a screw on uh, Hyda filter we'll speak a little once we have the pack in hand Yeah, so there you have it. The huge ass bag from Low Pro. Uh, I think it's the right size. My main concern was, uh, you know, that the bag should be should be carry on friendly. I need the bag to be with me in the flight cabin, especially with all the equipment that I'm carrying. So. I think this is the right size. There you go, that's the uh, Sirui monopod. Uh, model is P24C. Right. So there you have it. Uh, this is the Haida. Uh, step up ring right and this is the low pro warranty uh, this contraption uh, basically is uh, I'll probably show this to you guys a little later but this is to um, hang the monopod or even a tripod on the outside of the bag um, with the tension springs or the tension buckles and uh, there it is the Haida uh, Pro 2 multi coating ND filter uh, this is 77 uh, m and I think this is 10 stops. So you can slow your shutter down by at least 10 times. Very good for landscape photography where you want, uh, you know, smooth, snowy sort of a water. And uh, this is Sirui uh, K20X ball head uh, that will obviously go along with uh, my Sirui, uh, you know, monopod. The idea is to pick up another... Uh, tripod at a later point in time and I will use this ball head as a common equipment amongst uh, the two of it Okay, there you go. This is the uh, Sirui ball head and uh, The online reviews of this was amazing, but I'm gonna I'm holding it for the first time Right um, so it has um, the Arkansas adapter plate it's got a couple of, uh, you know, levelers. Uh, this is uh, the pretension, uh, you know, for the ball head movement. And it's got a small little lock as well, uh, you know, which which restricts the movement. Uh, this is the safety, uh, you know, pin as such, uh, so that the plate doesn't come off, uh, you know, even if the screw is a little loose. Um, going by it, it looks extremely well made. Uh, it's a little on the heavier side, no doubt. It's going to add a bit of uh, a weight uh, on the monopod, but but I think it's uh, it's a fair compromise between uh, well-built uh, ball head 
uh, versus being light. So pretty happy with the build quality. Okay, coming up is coming up is uh, the Sirui monopod, and uh, like I said, uh, the model is P two two four C. C stands for you know, carbon fiber. F one material, nothing less, folks. Okay, a little about this monopod. Uh, this is this has got uh, uh, a three-stage extender, as you can see, um, and it's extremely light. Uh, it can hold almost up to 10, 10.5 kilos. Uh, and uh, obviously, with this ball head, uh, the rating is of the ball head is much higher than the rating of um, the monopod itself. So I I would uh, you know restrict it to, to uh, 10, 10.5 max. And I think uh, my equipment would probably weigh less than four kilos, so I'm kind of safe. Uh, well made, brand, brand embossed everywhere, um, and and it also has uh, this uh, retractable rubber at the bottom. Um, you know, which when it slides out, it uh, you know has this pin head of sorts, uh, which can be used in two different ways. One either on a concrete surface where you want the side to side movement uh, either for panning shots uh, um, or, or uh, you know if you want to take uh, like a panoramic shot or if you want uh, you know more traction um, you know this uh, unscrew this a little it comes all the way to cover the uh, you know metal tip and uh, that gives you you know more grip on any any sort of a surface uh, the metal tip gives you a bit of a you know grip even on uh, let's say loose uh, you know soil uh, so that it digs in maybe about uh, half an inch and you know it can be used for uh, you know better traction uh, there you go when fully extended i think this can go all the way to about i think about almost about six feet so there you have it in case you want that height Six feet is what you get. Right, as you can see, this also has a screw uh, that's got both the sizes. You know, one for directly mounting it onto the camera, if you prefer. Uh, I wouldn't suggest that, but if you want, to, if you prefer mount it onto the camera, you can do that as well. Uh, but it's also got a reversible screw if you want to, you know, have a, 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 a ball head or something like that. Any other, either a gimbal or a ball head or any other, you know, specialist head. As such right and as you can see I've reversed the thread and there goes the Sirui ball head a nice firm grip and that's the end installation of it uh, as, as we were talking about this uh, a while ago uh, this is your uh, safety uh, pin per se. So even if you loosen it all the way out uh, to remove the plate, uh, you know, inadvertently the camera wouldn't slip. Right, so inadvertently uh, the plate wouldn't, you know, slip. So you would have to press this and then unlock. So that's a nice, uh, you know, safety feature. Uh, you don't have to worry about the camera slipping of uh, you know the monopod as such so the arkansas adapter plate is tightly screwed on to the collar of uh, of the lens and obviously this will get mounted to the monopod so there you have it uh, this is how it um, looks when it is uh, on the monopod uh, well, I don't have my camera handy, uh, so we've just mounted only the lens. Um, and as you can see, this is a, an outward baller, barrel, which means that it's, it becomes a sizable monster when it is zoomed out to 500 mm, especially with this, uh, you know, the collar, I mean, uh, the hood as such. Uh, yeah, and that, the other disadvantage of this particular lens, um, 
you know is that the zoom ring takes quite a bit of movement uh, at least two rotations uh, as i use it for it to move from 100 mm to 200 can be a bit of a disadvantage especially in a, in a scenario where you know you've got action happening ahead of you maybe flying birds uh, you know hunting tigers i'm being wishful but whatever it is if there is action ahead of you and this can prove to be a bit of a disadvantage or it requires a bit of practice you know the way you look at it it's either disadvantage or something that you need to practice on uh, but other than that um, you know it's holding up quite well it's very sturdy um, it is probably at three fourth of its height and it's already at my eye level uh, well not too tall either so it, it is it is of a very very comfortable height and pretty happy with the setup i have not used it i have not tested it on the field uh, hopefully we will get a, we will get an opportunity to test it um, on the field and i'll have an opportunity to share a few pictures i've used this lens before uh, not exactly this one but a different copy uh, maybe towards the end of this video i'll uh, you know leave a couple of sample pictures for you guys so uh, the lens fits like a glove inside the bag and uh, I can keep my three lenses, the two bodies, I can uh, put all the knickknacks here right uh, like the extra batteries, um, I don't have a flash, I plan to purchase it in the near future, uh, a few pouches for your SD cards, a couple of them, uh, really well protected zippers, these zippers go under these pouches so that you know the metal part of the zip doesn't touch the lens or the camera and scratch it. Uh, so very well thought uh, bag as such and I'm carrying this uh, Dell uh, 7440 uh, which is a 15 inch uh, screen and there is a, a pouch that is openable on the outside uh, for convenience you know airport security and it fits really well inside uh, the bag as well and it's thick thick padding at least about um, you know three fourth of an inch uh, it looks extremely well secure extremely well built bag um, it, uh, it 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 rightly has the name aw uh, all weather uh, because of one feature uh, that it has it has an inbuilt raincoat uh, that that is on the outside uh, but before we get to that um, this, so this is how you fix your monopod or a tripod uh, there are a couple of uh, potential, um, you know, buckles as such, uh, which hold, uh, you know, the monopod in place, um, you know, with this contraption. It is actually, it fits with uh, with one of the, you know, braces behind. Um, a couple of uh, pouches outside, they, they call this as the passport pouch. Um, it is just as big as a, you know, passport is, and it's easily accessible from the outside whenever you need to. Oh, well, remove it for whatever reason. So, um, there we have it. Um, the lens, the tripod, the ball head, HIDA, uh, filters, adapter ring. Um, super excited to put this to use. There is a trip coming up uh, overseas. Um, so, we will probably share a few photos, uh, you know, once we are back. Um, well, that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. Please, uh, please do subscribe for BMC HD videos. Uh, share it with your friends and family. Thanks for watching.